Hello. Hello. How are you, Fabiana? I'm fine. I'm fine. Thank you. What about you? How 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 do I say your name? Sakina. Sakina. Sakina yes. Sakina. Okay. How are how you? Are I you? haven't seen you. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. Yes. That's the first time I've seen you. I haven't seen you before. It's my yeah. first time with you. I know. It's a first time for everything, isn't it? <laughs> so where are you coming from? I am from Brazil. Oh, Brazil. Oh, wow. Yes. Okay, so I that's live, a, Yeah? I, I live in Sao Paulo. Oh, wow. I had yes. so many Brazilian friends. Um, no, I mean, not friends. I mean students with Kalingo. Oh, and, um, because nice. I, I do the morning shift, so they can't come in the morning. So okay. now I've taken over the 8 p.m. now. So um, there's this so time is fun. better for me. Yes, exactly. I thought so. The better time schedule. So here in the UK, it's eight o'clock. I'm based in the UK. Um, so it's quite late here. And Are you from UK? Yes. So I am living in the UK. I'm from the UK. I live in Northern Ireland, and it's oh. part of the UK. Yeah. Have you heard of Northern Ireland? Yes, I have. Oh, okay. Yes. Excellent. Yeah, a lot of people have heard of Northern Ireland. And the, the students ask me, so why don't you have the British accent? I'm like, well, because <laughs> I'm Northern Irish. But yeah. So it's I, good to see you. I have a friend that lives in Ireland. Really? Okay. Yeah. And how it does she find it? I, I think he's Dublin. Dublin, yes. Dublin. Yes. yes. He he has been uh, she has been living there for about two years. Wow. And it was a uh, interchange. Okay. Interchange how can I say interchange? Um interchange. I don't know how can I say it's in English, but uh, he go uh, he went there to uh, to uh, work and hey. Okay. And, and take care of a child with a family from there. Right. And he yes. and has he got he has a job and everything there? Yes, her? yes, she has. Oh, she that's has. excellent. And she's yes. doing really well. Yeah. Yes. Mm. The the jobs here are very scarce, very difficult to get Fabiano. Um a lot of people are struggling in Ireland um because of the recession. Mm -hmm. um, but that's really good that your friend got a job. I'm very happy for her. But a lot of my friends can't find jobs. Um, they're coming from Spain, okay, and um, they're just basically, I don't know, they're living off their savings, really. Um, oh. So it's, it is difficult to get a job there. And here as well, and Northern Ireland. <laughs> it's difficult. <laughs> So yeah, so that's good. You have a friend, so that means you can have an excuse to come to Dublin. Yeah, it's a good idea. Definitely, you will love it. There are so many foreigners there. They have I'm like sure. Brazilians, Turkish, Spanish, Greeks, the lot. Everybody. Yeah, so it's cool. It would be great. 
Yes, it will. Well, listen, Fabio, let's get started into the lesson, shall we? Okay? Yes. Um, so today, we're going to be talking about, let's have a look. I've forgotten myself. Right. Um, the environment, okay, and heat, wave, heat waves to double by 2020. So, yeah, so that's the article we're going to talk about today. And uh, the insight of what will cause heat waves to double. So what is causing the heat waves at the moment? And how do we adapt to this climate change? Okay. And the grammar skill we're going to be doing used to. Okay, I'm sure you know that already. I'm sure you've been doing that all the time. Yeah, used to. <laughs> I know, yeah. but sometimes it's tricky. Yes. <laughs> As Excellent. everything in English. Yeah. Your English is really good, Fabiano. Have you been with Kalingo long? I have been attending classes on Kalingo since uh, December last year. Wow. So you've been way earlier than me. me. You've been here longer than me. Yes, I have. Wow. And how are you finding the new Kalingo? Uh, actually, I had private classes with uh, a teacher, an English teacher. Mm -hmm. And we, uh, I had to to quit the classes, and oh. he 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 shared to me the this new uh, tool that okay. Colingo is, mm -hmm. and I started uh, attending classes. Wow! Oh, excellent! That's really good. Well, your English mm -hmm. is really good, Fabiano. Oh, really thank good. you, Fabiana. Yeah. Oh, Fabiana, sorry. Fabiana yeah. is a guy's name, right? Yes, if you say Fabiano, I am a man. You can give me a hit on the shoulder, Fabiana. <laughs> That's okay. Oh, my That's okay. God. Sorry. Oh, God. That's I always okay. get the names wrong. I don't know why. Uh, I think there's one student. He's Russian. I forgot his name. I think it's Val Valid. Uh, Va Vladimir? Yes, Vladimir. Vladimir. That's it. And I just could not pronounce his name. I was like, I'm so sorry. Is there a way I can abbreviate your name? And he's like, you can just call me Vlad. You can, tell, like, you, you can tell him V. Yeah, that's what I said. Easier. That's what I said. And I said, can I call you either V or Vlad? And he was like, it's up to you. Whatever. And I was like, oh, I felt so embarrassed. Oh, my God. Because so many people that don't know how to pronounce my name. And I was like, it's okay. Just call me CK. You know, Calvin Klein. Because <laughs> they can't pronounce my full name. But, yeah, I'm so sorry. So, Fabiana. Excellent. But you, you, name, you name it is, is an Irish name? No, it's um, it's derived from Arabic name. It's an Arabic okay. name. Yeah, okay. it means tranquility. Oh, nice. Mm, yeah, it has a nice meaning to it. Yeah, but a lot of people just call me Sikh, Sikh instead. Yeah, S E K. So that's how you spell my name. It's very very difficult to pronounce my name. But yeah, you can call me Sikh if you're struggling. But you seem to be okay. Okay. Sikina. Okay. Sakina or Sikh, sorry, and then abbreviation. Okay. 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 Right. So I wanted to ask you, okay, what silly things did you used to do when you were a child? Silly things. Yeah, silly things, you know, naughty things maybe mm -hmm. that your parents didn't like that you used to do. I can give you an example of what I used to do. Um when I was a child, I used to collect, it wasn't really naughty, it was just annoying. Um, I used to collect shells from the seashore and make a collection of them. So I would come home from the beach, okay, and have a bucket of shells, and I would just put them all over my room, throw them on the floor. Uh, my parents used to be so upset with me. They were like, you have to clean that up now. <laughs> so they were raging, yeah. So what about you, when you were a child, if you can remember? I can remember that mm, one. Let's see. <laughs> Let me think. Mm. Oh my, my water. Um, it was not a bad behavior, but uh, I was a, a, a behaved kid. Behaved kid? Yes, my mom, my mom always 
said that to me. And oh. mm, silly things. I don't know if it's silly, but I I used to uh, collect um, comic books. Okay. Mm. I I like to read. I like right. reading. Mm -hmm. So uh, I started uh, uh, having this appreci appreciation for 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 reading because mm -hmm. of the comic books mm -hmm. that I read when I was a child. Oh, that's so good. Oh, you were a nice child when you were young. <laughs> I was. <laughs> oh, your mother must have had such an easy life. <laughs> and I, I, I used to draw, to drawing, drawing, no, to draw. I used to draw yeah. a lot. I like it very much, even yeah. today. Even today. Oh, and when wow. I, when I was a child, I used to draw in... in uh, uh, a little piece of woods, mm -hmm. you know, that I that yeah. I that I, f I found uh, in the home or in my my aunt's house, and everything that I was made uh, of wood, I would take it for me to to draw on it. Wow! <laughs> and, and I'm sure you are a fabulous artist. Yes. I think so. Yeah, I think it's so good. You know, when you're younger, right? Um, it's good to start off reading and drawing because later on you can develop that talent and grow as well. And I definitely think that's really important. Reading is so so important. Yeah, it improves your vocabulary. Yes. And your grammar, definitely. Yeah, it's better than watching TV. Definitely. Yes. Yes. I agree. I agree. Yeah. So I think it's just a waste of time watching TV, to be honest, really. My son, I have a son, right, uh, Fabiana? And, oh, really? Um, yes. He's only three, okay? But okay. I mean, like, what, when I'm doing this lesson, he, I have to put him on the TV so he watches TV <laughs> <laughs> for one hour, you know? Um, so it's really difficult. I hate, I just like to put him in front of the TV, but I have to because um, I have to teach. So, Does he like it? Um, well, he can watch maybe one or two programs, but that's it. Um, he likes to play with his toys, but he does get sick of it. Within 20 minutes, he's like, I want to play something else. I get bored. So he gets bored. Ah, that's good. <laughs> so I don't know how to please this child, Fabiana. He wants to go outside all the time. And because the weather in the UK, it's really depressing. It's like cloudy every day. Um, there's not much to do. So okay. I'm stuck. Yeah. <laughs> oh. He's a very difficult child to please, definitely, definitely. I hope the next child will be an easy child anyway. <laughs> yeah, pray for me, pray for me. Okay. okay. <laughs> right, so let's get started into the article. Okay. okay. I will send you the article, okay? And um, if you want to read, I usually get my students to read, Fabiana, because um, I like to read. And the article... Um, it's heat waves to double by 2020. So it's just basically a genuine, what are we going to do to adapt to this? I think it's definitely going to happen. Um, so we're going to read about it anyway. Um, would you mind reading, Fabiana? Yes, um, I, I can read. Oh, excellent. So do you want to read um, from the start of this year? Because this start of the frontier, it's not really that important. So we can start from here. Okay, uh, let me just screen share this. I'm just talking to myself on <laughs> screen sharing. Yes, which part should I yeah. start? Yeah, set. Okay, let me bear with me. Oh, dear. I'm getting used to this computer because I used to be in the other computer, and it had two monitors, so I can screen it over to the next side. Okay, so have you seen the highlighted part? Okay. Can I? And that's it. Yes, whenever you're ready. Okay. This year might be a good time to invest in quality, retractable awnings, because that's how the world is quickly turning. According to an article on EMSN, 
heat waves in Utah and across the world are hitting record highs and it's only looking to get hotter. Right now, only about 5% of the world's land area is affected by monthly heat extremes or heat waves. However, according to Spanish and Germanic scientists, this number is to set to at least double by 2020 and then quadruple by 2040. Wow. Oh, that's scary, isn't it? Yeah. Do you believe in this, um, Fabiana? Do you think it's going to happen? Mm. What do you think? I think the world is so strange late, uh, mm. nowadays. Mm -hmm. Some place that uh, don't snow is snowing, some place that our hearts are getting cold. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. Um, well, it's really unpredictable, um, but I do think that it is going to change over the next few years, definitely. But we'll have a look at the next paragraph, shall we? Oh, do we have Johnny here? Oh, Hi. Johnny, how are you? Is Fabiana Italian? No, I am Brazilian. No, Fab <laughs> Fabiana okay. is Brazilian love. <laughs> Mescanada. Mescanada. My my my, but my grandparents are from Italy. Yes, oh. I, I was able to recognize the your strong Italian accent, so that's why I said, okay, Fabiana is Italian, but okay, it's it's just Brazilian. It's the same for me. <laughs> 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 well, um, look, we're just reading the article, Johnny. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so hang on, Johnny and Fabiana. Do you guys know each other? Obviously not. No. no. <laughs> so, Johnny, you want to introduce yourself to Fabiana before we start? Yeah. Okay. I'm uh, I'm Johnny from Italy, and um, okay, Sakina is my favorite teacher. Believe me. <laughs> Thank you, Johnny. <laughs> yeah. Because, oh, because uh, he, he is able to to teach English with uh, with uh, the smile on uh, on her face. And oh, it's God. Fantastic. <laughs> I think that I think that uh, his ro uh, a role of uh, of uh, of teacher is just like a mission for her, because uh, okay, he wants that every uh, her student improve. Uh, English and uh, I'm so happy with that uh, with, with, with Sakina. Thank you, Johnny. You're making me blush now. Thank God you can't <laughs> see me. <laughs> I get all blushy when people give me compliments. I'm like, oh my God, cover my head, cover my head. Yeah. <laughs> if I if I if I hear, if I were a rich man, I would. Uh, I will hire you as a private uh, teacher. <laughs> oh, thank you, Johnny. That is so sweet from you to say that. Thank you very yes. much. Well, this and Fabiana. Oh, thank you, Johnny. And Fabiana, you want to introduce yourself to um, Johnny? Just a little bit okay. about yourself. Okay. Nice to meet you, Giovanni. My Hi. name is Fabiana. I'm from Brazil. Uh, I was born in the southern of the country, but I live in Sao Paulo right now. Okay. I am 35 years old. Mm -hmm. And this is my first class with Sakina and you. Okay. Yeah. Welcome. Yeah, welcome, <laughs> Thank Fabiana. You. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad you can join us, Fabiana. Okay. Thank so, um, Johnny, now do you want to start reading the next paragraph? We're talking about heat waves at the moment. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. And, okay. Um, so I will just highlight where you can start reading, okay? That means. Okay. 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 That means that in less than uh, 30 years, around 20% of the world will be affected by heat waves. And uh, if you don't have any retractable awnings uh, in these areas, you will be suffering especially in those already warm areas like Utah and California. Still, the worst affected areas of the world will be those with a tropical climate such as the Mediterranean, Central Asia and the United States. That means that while the heat 
uh, mighty nearly un intolerable intolerable uh, individuals uh, residing in these areas will will also have to deal with extreme winds and other natural phenomena here's where the recraftable part of recraftable awnings comes in most awnings aren't built for withstanding extreme weather conditions from high winds to hail so when the going uh, gets uh, though in Huta winters, you need to be able to, to fold up your convenient sun blocker for its own safety. It's a simple, it's a simple solution to avoid unnecessary repair costs. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Along, so keep going. <laughs> okay. I love reading. Keep, keep going, Johnny. Keep going. Okay. 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 <laughs> along with. Uh, heat waves, the greenhouse gas attributed weather changes also include increased severe downpours, floods, and rising sea levels, uh, only further affiliating the need for secure, regrettable awnings. Since the Industrial Revolution, when fossil fuels first became so widely utilized, 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 is it what it is? Uh, the global average surface temperatures have theoretically risen by around 1.4 degrees. By 2015, many international governments plan to sign a deal designed to reduce further greenhouse gas emissions and limit global warming to less than 3.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Will they meet their uh, deadline. Who knows? But one thing's for sure: the hot Huta summers are their their prime. And as I, as far as I anyone can tell, they're destined destined to only get hotter. So prepare mm -hmm. ourselves now. Yourselves, yeah. We have to prepare, guys. So what do you think of the article? Yes. <laughs> fortunately, I live in. Italy. <laughs> yes, and I live in the UK, so <laughs> okay. Okay, for you there are no problems because uh, okay, <laughs> in UK it, it it drizzle every 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 morning every day, right? Oh, it does. Yes, I was telling Fabiana it's in the UK. It's just like the dark city every day. It's just cloudy, so we don't have any problems really. But let me say, last summer we had a heat wave, and I think we reached like thirty degrees for our summer. Our summer usually hits only twenty degrees, not even twenty degrees. So there you go, guys. 20, Do you guys twenty Fahrenheit degrees or Celsius one? Oh no, Celsius, Celsius. We don't mm -hmm. do Fahrenheit, Johnny. We don't do Fahrenheit. We do Celsius in the UK. Oh. Okay. <laughs> in Brazil yeah. too. In Brazil we use Celsius too. Oh, Celsius, yeah. yeah. I think in America, or hang on, Europe, what do you guys use? Fahrenheit? Celsius. Oh, Celsius. Celsius. I think maybe Americans use Fahrenheit. Yeah. Hmm. I think so. Do you guys know the meaning of um, retractable awnings? I would ask that. Yes, so I'm going to show you a picture of what it is, okay? I'm going to send you guys the link uh, and you can see what it is. It's, a, it's basically something to prevent the heat coming from your house. So have a look at it and you'll know what it is. Retractable awning. Mm. Yeah, it's probably oh. really expensive to put into your house, you know? It's like a shelter type of thing. Yeah. Hmm. Um, definitely recommended for the hot countries. Yeah. Definitely. But for, sh for shadow, right? Yeah, for shade, for shade. Yeah, yeah. yes, mm. my gosh. It's good it's for, for that. Yeah, yeah, it's for shade, Gianni. So yeah. any questions, guys, in regards to the article? What do you think? What do you think? I want your opinion. Come on, Fabiana, it's your turn. <laughs> oh my God! Oh my God! Uh, uh, um, I can say that here in Brazil uh, we are noticing the diff uh, the the difference of the the 
temperatures radically and uh, the, the summer here uh, last year was terrible and I think uh, this year is going to be worst mm -hmm. and uh, even the winter there was a city in the south of the place mm -hmm. that is nowhere here in Brazil mm. wow. I think that's very rare to, to happen it here mm -hmm. when you say when you uh, talk about Brazil do you think about snow nobody thinks mm. no one thinks about it when talk about Brazil, only yeah. a beach and sun and... That's true, yeah. Mm. We oh. hear about the beach and the sun in Brazil, yeah. Yes, yeah. and uh, I think the, the thing is going to get worse, really. Oh, dear. Mm. Yeah, I'm sure it does get really hot in Brazil. Okay, mm. uh, Fabiana, think about the fact that, for example, Sakina, uh, okay, in, in UK, they had a hot waves, 30 degrees. Let me laugh, okay? <laughs> because, okay, in such country as Italy or Brazil, okay, and hot mm. wave is around 40 or more degrees. Yes. And uh, yes. I think that is not a hot, a hot wave in UK. It's just a, <laughs> it's just a, a slap of the sun, you know? I know. <laughs> <laughs> but Gianni and Fabiana, you should see us. Well, not me, but I mean the people, the Irish and the UK citizens, where everybody is outside their houses and they're sunbathing in the 30 degree heat because it's yeah. the only sun they get. Yeah. Yeah, think about this situation. Okay, Irish men, Irish people <laughs> that, okay, wake up in the morning and, and say, oh, what is this? Is it the sun? <laughs> Oh my gosh! <laughs> it's the sun. <laughs> oh God! Oh, then we all love the sun. I must say, I do miss the sun. Us Irish, we love the sun, and the UK, us British, we love the sun as well. Yes, and everybody loves the sun. Everybody loves the sun. But Here I comes think, the sun. No, no. Yes, that's how that song goes. Um, <laughs> but I mean, like, I don't know. I think sometimes you get too much sun. It gets too hot. Like I lived in Australia for three years, and it was really hot. Oh my god, yeah. forty-five degrees in the summer for three months. And did you like it? Did you like no, it? No, I didn't like it. No, Fabiana. Mm -mm. <laughs> it was terrible. I just hated it. I don't like too much heat. I suppose you can't have everything in life. You can either have to deal with the cold weather or deal with the heat. I think America is perfect because America has a good climate, I think. What do you guys yeah. think? Yes, I think that in the United mm -hmm. States you can experience uh, a wide range of temperatures from Alaska yes. with a cool temperature uh, till Flor Florida with hot temperatures, mm -hmm. uh, passing to California and Arizona mm -hmm. and Utah, you know? Yeah. So I but, think it's nice. Yeah. And the Europe as well. I think Europe doesn't really get that hot, does it? Like it doesn't reach 45 degrees. Yeah, I think that Brazil can be a good Brazil way. In, in Rio de Janeiro is common to to the is common to happen uh, 45 degrees Celsius. Wow, so Brazil is really yes. hot. Oh my yes. god. It's like Australia. I wow. don't know Australia. I don't know how is the weather in Australia. It's very hot, Fabiana, especially where I was living. I was living by the mines and the temperature in the summer would be 45 degrees. It would reach up to 45 degrees. So it's similar to Brazil. Oh my god. For, for me, 45 is too much. Yes, that's true. I don't like it. Yeah. 35, it's like, oh my god, where is the air conditioning? Get me to the beach. Yeah, it is tough. <laughs> yeah, guys. So I hope that, you know, we all can maybe just fix something there. How can we maybe change or uh, change this global warming? How can we prevent it from happening? Anyone have any suggestions? 
Okay, I think it's a good idea to ban uh, the gas that are responsible for the global warming. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I'm afraid that it's too late. Yeah. But, uh, yes, because uh, okay, maybe the uh, maybe uh, okay, the the global warming is getting more and more higher and higher, and mm -hmm. uh, maybe we can. Uh, we can face hot temperatures in the next future, even here in Italy. And uh, I, I think that could be a problem for everybody. Yeah, definitely. And Fabiana, what about you? What do you think? Do you have any suggestions? Good suggestion, Gianni. Good suggestion, by the way. Well, how about uh, uh, buying a lot of sunblocks? <laughs> And uh, avoiding the sun. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And buying a retractable on <laughs> for outside. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's also good as well. Apparently, it prevents the heat from coming into the house. Meant to be very good, apparently. So I don't know. It's probably really expensive, lots of money. But, you know, we can start saving. Well, I don't have to save because I'm in a cold climate, but, I mean, with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> so I think it's... A, and your door, oh, my God, Gianni, your daughter just painted something really nice, which yeah. is gone now. She's, She's gone painting now. right now. What She's an amazing artist. Oh, my God. Yeah, to be is honest, she I... Is your daughter? Yes, yeah. I, have a, I have a couple of twin daughters. Oh, so nice. So cute. Yeah. Oh. So expensive to to raise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gianni, so funny. Yes, having girls, especially twins, yeah, that must be very difficult for you, Gianni. Yes, and uh, okay, I can say that nobody helped me. And, oh, uh, yeah. No, okay. There is a, because in Italy there is no a specific policy in favor of uh, this this kind of families, you know, and... Uh, yeah, that's strange. There should be, though, because in the UK they have benefits. Yes, I don't yeah. have any benefits. I have a... Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, I don't want to talk about my mother-in-law. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he always mentions Fabiana. He always mentions his mother-in-law. He loves her to pieces. That's all Poor mother-in-law. Yeah, my yeah. my nice mother-in-law. Yeah, your I, lovely mother-in-law. God love yeah, her. Tell so her I much. said hi. Tell her I I'm said hi. I'm, I'm sure that she helps you a lot to take care of the children. No. No? <laughs> no? <laughs> really? Oh, no. Okay. Um, uh, yes, it's uh, just a typical situation. Better say uh, nothing, Gianni. No. She might yeah. catch you. <laughs> maybe, maybe after work. Uh, okay, uh, this lesson are are the best for me to uh, unwind. Unwind. Yeah. Yes, it's just to to relax myself because English makes me feel happy. And, oh. Uh, I would like to forget my problems, and Sakina can uh, relieve my pain. Okay. <laughs> I'm like a doctor. I'm like a psychiatrist as well as an, an English teacher, of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, well, she's a sort of psychologist for me. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah listen to Gianni's problems. If he hasn't yeah. told me any problems, but at least you have some company there, Gianni. I miss my mother-in-law. I do miss her. Yeah, she was cool. She she was a good mother-in-law. She really helped me. Yeah. You're really lucky. Did. You're lucky. I know I am. I think definitely God has given me a gift. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, look, guys, I'd love to talk more, but it's lesson. Okay, so we're going to talk about the grammar now, guys. Okay, switch on to the grammar. And the grammar is used to. Okay, used to. So can anyone give me an example of using used to before we start? Uh, can I? Uh, uh, uh. Yes, it's your turn, Fabiana. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Uh, I used to draw when I was a child. Excellent, very good. And Gianni, what about you? 
Uh, I am. Y okay, this is different. Okay. Uh, so used I used to. Yes, I used to. Okay, I used to be a different man in the past. Mm -hmm. Okay, but yeah. now, but now. Nah. <laughs> Maybe I, I'm uh, I'm getting worse and worse. <laughs> <laughs> but, that, but you have to make it into a positive, Gianni. Don't be putting yourself down now. Yeah. No. Okay. 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 Thank. Okay. Uh, okay. Another another sentence is maybe uh, I used to play soccer when I was younger, but mm -hmm. now I don't play anymore. Excellent. Very good. That's better. Yeah. yeah. A positive. Yes. Good. Okay, guys. So that is a couple of examples you've given me. So I'll just explain to you what we use it for. Okay. And some more examples. So you can use used to for explaining um, habitual um, actions that the person no longer does. Okay. It's good for talking about things you did at different times of your life. For example, when you were a child, when you were a university student, when you worked at your old job, etc. Okay, so it's all relating to the past, okay? So for example, I used to go out to eat every night when I lived in New York. She used to drink lots of milk when she was a child. So I'm going to screen share this one, guys, for you so you can see the examples, okay? Yeah. Uh, okay. All right. Perfect. All good, guys? Do you want me to make it bigger for you? Yeah. Slightly? Okay. Is that better? Yeah. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Fabiana, you can see okay? Yes. Excellent. Okay. So you can form used to sentences in different ways. So for the construction, we have the subject, which is the I, Jenny, they, etc. Plus used to, plus verb. Now the common mistakes include... Making the verb past tense. So, I used to smoke, not I used to smoked. So, we already have used to, used to in the past, but now we're adding another ed. So, we don't need to double form it as a past. Okay, so that is a no, 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 no. Okay. So, adding s, letter s to it, for example, Jenny used to dance. Not Jenny used to dances. Now, a lot of my students were making that mistake in Egypt. A lot of them would add the S at the end. Okay. And also using a geronde. Okay. So, for example, he used to play baseball. That is correct. But not he used to playing baseball. So that also is a no no. Okay. When making used to an adjective and acting like it is a verb, so for example, we used to wake up early, correct, not we are slash were used to wake up early, okay? So these are no-nos, okay, guys? Yeah, crystal clear. All we need to add is used to. Don't make it difficult on yourselves, guys, okay? Yeah. Okay, let's have a look at the next part. So, you, 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 uh, you use used to in negative sentences and with questions. In negative sentences, you often have a before phrase to specify when the new habit began. So, for example, my father didn't used to watch TV before he retired. I didn't used to like dogs before I met Scruffy. So, Gianni, you gave a good example of when you used to play football and now you don't. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And also making a question, guys. So when asking a question, use used to. So notice that there is a did in the sentence. So um, Fabiana, can you read the first two examples of using did? Yes. Did Please. she used to love him? Why okay. did he and use the next to one? do that? Excellent. Why did he Thank use you. to do that? Yes. So we can also use questions with used to. Can you guys think of a question you can ask each other with using did? So okay. Gianni, can you think a question, a question for Fabiana with using did? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, Fabiana. Mm -mm. Question for you. <laughs> yeah. 
Did you used to fall in love with Italians in Brazil? <laughs> uh, actually, I, uh, actually, I I didn't uh, used to uh, know uh, any Italian in Brazil. Oh, I'm sure you got it, <laughs> Mariana. <laughs> they say the Italians are very friendly and they're like gentlemen. And you beautiful, know. yes. Yeah. And beautiful as well, beautiful I forgot people. to ask. Just yes. like me, you know, you, just like me. <laughs> just like Gianni, of course, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and Fabiana, can you think of a question for Gianni? Yes. Uh, Give him a difficult one. <laughs> Let me think. A hard one. <laughs> yes, a hard one for Gianni. <laughs> Fall in love with Brazilian girls in the past? Yes. <laughs> I know <laughs> that's too easy. <laughs> Let me think. Mm, did he use to... to... Did you used to uh, drink wine when you were a child? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know no. if it's common in Italy. No, I know that I... people in Italy drink, but I don't know children. At that age, yeah. yeah. No, I didn't used to in the past, but now I'm, uh, I'm just like... Uh, uh, an alcoholist, you know. Alcoholic, <laughs> alcoholic. He's an alcoholic, Fabiana, by the way. Okay. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> I, I wanted to know that as well. Good question, Fabiana. Good question, actually. Okay, guys. Great question. So let's move forward. You can also use other words before used to to change the meaning. So, for example, I am used to driving her car. She is used to working all night, okay? So something that you're comfortable with doing, but it's a habit, okay? So like I am used to going to work every day. I am used to waking up early to go to work every day, okay? Something that you were comfortable with doing in the past, like a habit, but now you are uncomfortable with it. So for example, I was used to driving her car, but, but I forgot how to drive it. She was used to working all night, but now she falls asleep at work. Okay? When you are in the process of becoming familiar with something, we have a different sentence here. Let's have a look. She is getting used to being alone. Tom is getting used to Jenny's new dog. So something that they have to get used to something, okay, that they didn't get used to before. Okay, so when you have become familiar with something, you've gotten used to it. So, for example, we have Sally got used to her new cat. He got used to going to bed early. Okay, so we have different ways of saying used to, guys. Okay, in the past, in the habit, something that you were comfortable with in the past, but now you are uncomfortable, vice versa. Okay, and um, can I maybe, yes, yes, yeah. Janet. Okay, I have a question for you because I didn't yes. understand when should I use the expression I mm -hmm. was used, uh, used uh, for example, uh, I don't know, I was used to drive and when I have to use I used to drive. Okay, so used to drive, it's something that you've done in the past but now obviously you don't drive. Okay, and yeah. when you're when when you're getting used to driving, you're it's a habit. So something that you're doing all the time, but you have to get used to doing. Like you have to go to work every morning. You're used to getting up to go to work every morning, right? Yeah. So this is a habit, and that's when you use used to. Okay. So there's different ways. So you can talk about a habit in the past your childhood stories of what you used to do and then a different meaning you can use when it's a habit and uh -huh. it's something that you're getting used to. So you can say you're getting used to your mother-in-law. <laughs> like that. That's a good example. Okay. Okay. So you're getting used to your mother-in-law because she's living with you. 
you can't do anything about it. So you should, you're getting used to her. In Are a nice you? way. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Are you so pulling my example. leg? Are you... <laughs> but you love your mother-in-law. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. I was joking. Okay. <laughs> okay. So that is how you can use both of them. Okay. Okay. Do you understand? Yeah. Crystal clear. Excellent. Yes. Fabiana, any questions? No questions. Okay. All is good, guys. Okay. So let's move on to the discussion questions. Okay. Now, discussion questions, guys. So the first one, um, it's basically your own opinion, okay? And if you can possibly use the grammar skill, which is used to, to support your answer, okay? So the first question, you guys can grab it, if you ever, okay? So why has global warming become widespread? Why has global warming become widespread? Fabiana, it's your turn. Come on. <laughs> because of the human beings. Yeah. Okay. okay. Because of the mankind. Yes. Yeah. And can you maybe add in a grammar skill there to support your answer, Fabiana? Mm. Mm. I'll give you a minute to think about that. I'll give you a minute to think about that. Can I, can I help her? Can I yes, help you her? Can. Of Please. course. Yes, go okay. on ahead. Fabiana, Fabian, do you think that um, human beings are getting used to a, a different climate? Excellent. Yes. Very good. Mm. Mm. There's no chance to escape. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Actually, we are we are we are we are forced to to get used with this. Yeah. Climate. We are forced to get used to it. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, we have to get used to it. Mm -hmm. Yes, and uh, another question for you, Fabiana. Um, <laughs> if you had to relocate abroad, would you be willing to get used to another climate? I don't know if you want to uh, relocate to UK for example. UK. Yes, because they they usually they usually have hot waves there. Ah <laughs> uh, yeah, right. Stop picking on the UK, Gianni. The UK is a nice country. <laughs> yes, I know. We may have a very uh, hot heat wave, but you know we're a good country. Yeah. <laughs> are you are you willing to are you willing to getting used to a new climate that is very yeah, different yes. from your yes. Yes, I I think I I would uh, uh, get used get mm. used 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 to used. To. I think I would get used to another uh, climate. Yes, that's climate, right. Yeah. Cl climate mm -hmm. in another country. Okay. All right. Okay. Very good question, Gianni. Okay. Mm -hmm. Another question. Last one, guys. Okay. My plants were beautiful, but now they are dying. Oh my gosh. I know. What can I do? <laughs> Suggestions. They, okay, they, uh, they used to absorb a lot of water in the past, but now <laughs> yeah, maybe uh, they don't, you don't provide them with uh, water enough, enough water, right? Yes, I think so, Gianni. I'm not supplying the plants with enough, enough water. I'm very naughty. <laughs> naughty, naughty, yeah. Naughty, naughty, naughty teacher. Yes, I'm very bad. <laughs> very bad. But excellent. You really managed to get the grammar skill in there. Very, very good. Very, very good, guys. Okay. So... Let's do a little bit of um, assessment. Okay, the assessment is very easy, guys. It's very, very easy. Okay, um, it's mo it's easier than my discussion questions. Okay, so basically, guys, I give you a verb. 
okay? And you guys have to form a used to within a sentence, okay? So okay. used to and then the verb and combine it to make a sentence. So I will give Fabiana watch, watch. Watch. Yes. I used to watch more television when I was younger. Excellent. Very good. And Gianni, I will give you cooking dinner at home. I am used, used to cooking uh, my dinner on my own. Okay. Okay. I am used to cooking dinner on my own. Okay. And then what about you can also use I used to cook dinner at home. So something that you've done in the past. Okay. I used to cook uh, my dinner on my own when I was, mm -hmm. uh, when, I, uh, when I lived alone. Very good. Excellent. Perfect. Okay. Next chance, guys. So I will ask you to describe something that you used to do as children. Okay. So maybe think of another sentence what you used to do. Okay. Um, so Gianni, what did you used to do when you were a child? Okay. When I was child, when I was uh, younger, uh, I used to chase girls. <laughs> I feel sorry for your parents. <laughs> yeah. I used to what? To chase girls. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. I I noticed you then. I used I used to I used to play uh, with my friends. Mm -hmm. uh, in the street. Okay. Okay, that's better, Gianni. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Bravo, bravo. And bravo. Uh, Fabiana? <laughs> um, I used to cry when I was a baby. Oh. Move back, move back. But you were a nice child, Fabiana. You were a nice yes. child. Yeah. I was. Very behaved. Very behaved. Okay, guys. Excellent. So that's pretty much it, guys, um, with the assessment. Uh, I'm just thinking, let's see, just this other bit. No, I think that's it, guys. Any questions, guys, in regards to the lesson? No? no? no. Easy lesson, guys? Easy? Yeah, you're so clear. You're so oh, clear. Perfect, Jack. I love you. <laughs> oh, your daughter's there. Hello. Yeah, bye, ciao, bye, Hello. Ciao. 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 This is ah. Julia. This is oh. Julia. Hi, Julia. Oh, she's beautiful. She's, yeah. She is beautiful, mashallah. Oh, yeah. Cute. And um, Julia, do you have a picture to show me? Picture. Yeah. Fali, fali vedere il tuo disegno. Fali vedere il tuo disegno. Let me see. Let me see. I want to yeah. see. Yeah. Yeah. Fali vedere il tuo disegno. No. <laughs> wow. You should be so proud, Gianni, of her drawing. Yes, I'm so proud of my of my children. Really? Yes. It's I, perfect. I would like to offer them more. No, don't worry, Gianni. Look, the best thing you can offer your children is um attention. Give them enough attention and provide them with the best education. That's the best. Yeah. And just share your love. Right, Fabiana, you agree with me? Yes, I agree. Yeah. Fabiana was saying that um, she used to draw when she was a child as well. Yes. Yeah. She was a very good artist when she was young. Yeah. And she I, still I, is. I, am, I still do it. Yeah. You have to draw something for us, Fabiana, so we can see. I want to I, see. I, I have something on my Facebook. Do you guys have Facebook? Yes, we do. Yeah. Can I add you guys? Of course. Yes, Gianni, of course. you want to put your name in? Yeah, you put your name in, Gianni, and I'll put my name in. Okay. Yes, I my name is. I will tag you guys in my in my in my in my draws. Excellent. Please, that would be great. And so you know, you guys, see. you know, I'm going to do um a games class with Pictionary. Okay. Oh, nice. I like yes. it. Yes. I know. This is the first time me doing this online. I usually do it in a class, so it's different for me. So I wanted to kind of make it exciting. So what I've done, there is an application called Scoot and Doodle. 
Um, but I am early in the morning though. So Gianni, I don't think you can join my class, unfortunately. Yes, of course. I will be. I will be there if you want. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Fabiana, the Brazilian time, it's difficult for you. Um, yeah, because yeah, I'm which early in the morning. Which time? Sorry, which time? Um, I'm doing early in the morning, so that's, um, let's see, let's uh, have a look at my schedule. Just hang on, two seconds. Okay, so 7 a.m. Yeah, 7 a.m. I think I can do it. Really? Okay. Is it tomorrow? Tomorrow? Um, no, it's on Friday. Yes, Friday. Okay, yeah, I can try. I can yeah. try. Excellent. Friday morning. Yes. Okay. Yes. And Friday. do you have me too? Yes, perfect. It's my day off. It is. Excellent. That's perfect. So on Friday morning, guys, you can join me on my... Let me just double check for you guys. So hang on. Friday at 7 a.m. Yes, 7 a.m. Okay, and I'm going to try the Pictionary. Okay. And we can do it. I think it's fun. I think it will be yes, a fun game. Fun. Yeah, okay, and if Fabiana's going to beat us. <laughs> I am used to, to, uh, to, to having uh, classes on Colingo with Shanae. I don't know if you guys know Shanae, her. Shanae, yes, I love yeah. her. Yeah. And, and I like her too. And, and he, uh, he she, she does this kind of... of uh, game in his class and it's yeah. really fun. Yeah, it is. So I'm gonna try this now. I'm mm -hmm. used to doing taboo and you know also Jeopardy, but I just want to change. You know, for the students as well, I want them to just have a different activity. Okay. Well, so your next guys. your next yeah. class is only on Friday. No, no, I have my classes every day and um, in oh, the morning, okay. seven a.m. And 8 a.m. Okay. and then at night time as well. Okay. Fabiana, can okay. I say something? Can I say something? As your first time, it was great. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> As your first time on for Corlingo, I think it was a great lesson, right? Oh. <laughs> so gentle. So I know, nice. isn't he? Isn't he so sweet? <laughs> oh, that's so nice. Well, I hope you guys can enjoy your evening. Um, I know I'm going to bed. <laughs> I'm exhausted. <laughs> me, me too. <laughs> I'm tired. It's been a long day. It's been a long yes, day. Yes, for me as well. Yeah. So you guys take care of yourselves, and I will see you soon. So don't forget, Friday, early morning. Yeah, settle. Okay, settle. Nice okay. to see you guys. Deal. Nice to see you. Deal. Okay. Bye, Thank guys. you, Sakina. We are you your too, aficionados. Fabiana. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. No Bye. problem. You're welcome. Ciao, Fabiana. Ciao, Fabiana. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, Gianni. Ciao, ciao. Fabiana. Ciao. Bye.